Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. We're at the Marathon Motor Works, and I'm with guitar legend Robin Trower. Robin, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Gosh, what a, it was a treat hearing you yeah. during soundcheck, just tearing it up, man. Oh, thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit about this Strat you're playing. Well, this is my signature model. Um, What's it, is it based on, um, on one you you played back in the day is it kind no of a no it's a it, it's a there's a guy at a, a custom shop um, called Todd Todd Krauss that mm -hmm. between me and him we decided what ingredients we would have on, sure. on this so basically it's um, you've got a Texas special pickup there a 1960s pickup there, reissue, you know, mm -hmm. and a 1950s on the neck. Oh, cool. Yeah. And you know, you're unlike a lot of strap players, you spend a lot of time on the middle pickup, don't you? Uh, I, I use the middle pickup, but yeah, mostly soloing on, on, oh, on, the, on the neck. neck. Yeah. I, I decided to have a, the bigger headstock sure. um, because I thought a bit more wood, a bit more resonance. Yeah. Um, locking tuners, jumbo frets, uh, otherwise it's, you know, that's great. Yeah. Now you, back in the day, you you started as a Gibson guy. Yeah. Uh, and I think you played. I saw you with a like a Les Paul Special, yeah, a TV yeah. Yellow one, and yeah, then yeah. And I think you had a brief thing with an SG for a while. That's right. Yeah, I had an uh, SG for a bit. Yeah. yeah. But when you discovered the Strat, that was it. That was it. No turning back. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. The rest yeah. is history. I think the Strat has got a more vocal uh, voice. Yeah. More like a human voice. You know? Sure, yeah. it's really an expressive instrument, yeah. and particularly the way you use it. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's pretty amazing. Thank you. Uh, so you're so that would you say this is your number one on the road? Um, the only reason that I'm playing this one is because my favourite one, which is a, a cream coloured one, mm. I, I decided that the frets were just too worn. I had to give up using it. Oh really? No, so I've switched to this one. Yeah. High mileage yeah. on that guitar. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, great. Well, can we see your number two over yeah. here? So this is also your SIG? Yeah, these are all, all my guitars are signature model. God, yeah. that's great. Yeah, so it's exactly the same sort of thing, you know, it's uh, put together by Todd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful. So, and once you get them from Todd, do you do any, does your tech do any tweaking to them or just uh, as they arrive, they're pretty... The only thing I do is to get the action right, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, uh, what gauge strings do you play? Uh, I use a 12, 15, 17, 26, 36, 48. Wow, and are you in standard tuning? No, no, I'm tuned down a step. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. You used to be down a half step, yeah. and then you dropped her all the way yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can't imagine a 12 on no, standard. It, that's, why, <laughs> yeah. that's why I'm down a step, because yeah. I wanted to get a fatter sound. Right, you know? right. Yeah, well, it sounds fabulous. Okay, so your signature strats, and then you're running, your longtime Marshall guy. Yeah. Uh, are you running these two? I'm running, uh, th these, these are all 50 watts. Okay. Uh, I'm running this one into these two, which are greenback cabinets. Okay. And that one is running this, which is a vintage 30s cabinet. All right. Yeah. And what, these are the, the Mark IIs? Um, I think they're called the 1989. 1989. 87X? 87X. 87X? Eight, that's it. I wasn't, okay. I wasn't even close. <laughs> no, yeah. 87A. There we yeah, go. Yeah. 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 You just drive the car. Yeah, you don't have to rebuild right. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So these. No, they're a re reissue, I think, of the original 50s. Do they sound pretty similar to the ones you had back in the day? or? I never used 50s. I always used to use hundreds. God, that had to be loud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, they weren't. I don't. I don't think they were much louder than these. These. Yeah. These, these are really, really loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're running them pretty hot. It, it. It feels like, although you've got some room to go. It oh yeah, like. plenty of room to go on those. But it just goes into mush after there. You know. Yeah. 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 Because I'm driving the front end so much. You know, that's the thing. You know what? That's a good segue. Let's talk about these pedals. Okay. 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 So uh, anyway, this is a straight sound before I put it through any of the pedals, right? 
Yeah, that sounds that right. sounds so great, just <laughs> straight <laughs> like that. So uh, now this is the full drive. <laughs> Yeah. Plus, this is a boost. Which I use, I use that for solos. Sure. Right? This is a pedal that Mike Fuller, full tone, made for me. Called he calls it the Waffle, which is it's a wah, but it's you can fix it in one spot. Oh, okay. So. Oh, well, that's great. Right. This is the wow. Are you? And this is the this is the Deja vibe, which is the bridge size sound. That's, and it's a modest pedal board. You're only using four things, but you get so much out of it. Yeah, well, it's, it's, uh, it's the mixture of the stuff as well, you know. This. Yeah, now, back in the day, you used one of those fender benders. Was that it? Um, or, or did you have a, a, a fender bender pedal or some I kind did, of? I did, but I think I only used that on, like, one track. Oh, really? <laughs> it's, you know, yeah. that's the way fans are. They'll yeah. find one thing yeah, and yeah. obsess about it. We actually had a fan write in and say, ask about that. So there's yeah, the answer. Yeah, I think answer. that was a song called Long Misty Days I used it on. Huh. Yeah. And, and also another fan had written in asking about some sort of boost that somebody had built for you back in the day. And I, I don't, again, this is obscure How fan references. How back in the day you're talking? Uh, 70s? Yeah, I mean, there was, there was a guy, an electronics guy that built me, uh, I think it was just basically an amplifier. It wasn't a distortion unit. It was uh -huh. just, it, just to drive the amps more. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of an in front. Uh, yeah. 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 Gosh, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing because, you know, the England, that tiny island, produced the most amazing rock and roll guitar players <laughs> in that short period of time. It's really incredible. Yeah, but none of them would exist without all the greats that came before. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, that's... You know, all, on the shoulders of giants, all of us. Yeah, it, it's all interrelated. Well, I tell you, it's, a, it's an honor to uh, meet you and really uh, great to hear you and thanks so much. Thank you, my pleasure. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the latest Rig Rundown. Guess what? Every week we upload a brand new Rig Rundown to PremierGuitar.com a full week before it's available here on YouTube. So to get your gear fix as soon as humanly possible, go to PremierGuitar.com forward slash rig rundown. And while you're there, be sure to sign up to get an email notification so you're the first to know as soon as each week's new rig rundown is available. Cheers. See you soon.